Today we're going to locate where we should be placing our frets and then cut the slits to put the fret wire in and then glue the fret wire in. So what we're going to need for this, you'll need your Kanjo with the can attached, the speed square, the coping saw, a meter stick, 10 pieces of pre-cut fret wire, each an inch a piece, and your measurements for where you're going to place your frets. So because we want to place the frets at the distance from where the other end of the string is, we're going to want to place the meter stick into the can so that it's touching the inside of the can. We'll then mark where those fret locations should be. Once you have all of your fret wire locations marked, you're going to take your speed square and you're going to use this to create some 90 degree angles and some perpendicular lines with the Kanjo itself. And so you'll draw one for each one of your fret marks. So what we're going to do next is we're going to need to be able to insert these frets into the wood. Okay. So what we'll need to do first is pre-saw our lines that we drew on the Kanjo stick. What you'll notice is you're going to have 10 lines and an 11th one up at the top. The 11th one, that's where we're going to put the tuner. So don't cut a line on the very top one, just the bottom 10. So what you'll do first is you will line up your saw right on top of your line and then just with a gentle back and forth. Don't put a lot of downward pressure because you just want to get it started. And then once you get it started, you can apply more and more pressure. Periodically, take your fret and check the depth. Okay. If it's still too shallow, keep sawing. Once you have all your fret locations cut, you'll move on to drilling the hole for the tuner. You need to drill the hole for the tuner before you glue in the frets. 